check start the timing and freeze it for next three minutes then you have to wait to thaw it wait at least for five minutes within this five minutes it's it's don't try to pull it out because if you try to pull it out it will not come out the the essential mechanism of cryotherapy is it's it's uh, freezing the cervix right so if you have to pull it you have to wait to thaw the uh, uh, surroundings of the ice ball formation and then automatically it will come out if you try to pull if you try to manipulate the cryo gun in this time it may injure the cervical epithelium then once it is thawed you refreeze you again apply the cryo probe check the gas cylinder open the nozzle and start the free flowing of the gas refreeze the gas refreeze the cervix for three another three minutes within seconds a nice ice ball will again start appearing beyond the edges of the cryo tip the when the procedure is over again after three minutes second time applying uh, the cryo probe wait let it thaw again you wait for five to eight minutes let it thaw it will automatically come out if the cryotherapy if the cryo procedure is adequate it will form a nice ice ball crater and it will look absolutely like this so there will be absolute no bleeding within the crater there are some technical problems may appear during the whole procedure the cryo as i have stated earlier that the cryo probe has to be fit within the washer of the cryo gun in a proper manner so there may be misfit so essentially the gas should flow